Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make money fast without working in Blocksburg. So this is part two to a little series I'm doing of how to make money without working. And I've come up with a lot more ways to do it. All of these ways are allowed in the game. It doesn't involve any cheating, nothing like that. And as you can see, I have over 100k in the bank and that is all made from using these tips. So let's get right into it. So I feel like this one sort of goes without saying, but I do think I should put it in quickly at the beginning. Go through your old plots and bulldoze them. For example, if I was to bulldoze this plot here, which isn't actually that big, I would be getting over 250k. And if you see on here, for example, if I go through all my plots, I have quite a few which literally just have junk on them. So if you've just forgotten about these big plots and random plots that if you deleted would add up to quite a lot of money, because you can go through and delete some of these and literally make thousands. The next tip is everybody on Bloxburg or Roblox has a talent, whether it's building amazing houses on Bloxburg, making GFX on Roblox, doing anything like that, you should turn that into a little business for yourself. Obviously charge fair prices. To, to build somebody a house, you could charge them let's say 50,000 and this way you are having fun using your talent and you're also getting paid for it in Bloxburg cash. So let's say you built two people a house and it took about an hour each, that's two hours and you charge 50,000 per person. In two hours, you've just made $100,000. But you've got to be careful not to scam people with this one. So if they've already paid you, then make sure you finish building their house. Now, the next tip sort of links in with that one, and it is joining giveaways. There is countless giveaways on different social medias. Make sure it is a real giveaway, though. But normally, all you have to do is follow the person and comment or something like that. And I've seen giveaways for 50k Bloxburg money and even 100k. So if you're feeling like getting lucky, then definitely enter some giveaways, because if you win them, then that's just extra money on the side. Next up is daily rewards. Now this is a pretty obvious one but I've worked some things out for you all. This is what the daily rewards look like for non-premium players and premium players. So here's how much you'd earn in five days, 10 days and 30 days if you logged in every day and got your daily reward and here it is if you have premium. As you can see it is an insane amount of money that you're getting for just literally logging into the game. So this next one I know we have all heard of. We've all seen this desk and somebody sat here. They probably wouldn't have a cash register on the table because that is actually quite expensive to get. Normally it would be a little table with a sign saying please donate. Now obviously this is not a very effective way of making money without working but if you really do feel like trying everything in this video then this actually can sometimes work. For example you can have a couple people come by and give you like a hundred dollars which yeah that is generous and that is good but occasionally you do actually have some millionaire come by and give you like fifteen thousand and then when that happens you just feel like wow this was kind of worth it. Now I'm not saying sit here for hours and go to loads of different servers waiting for a millionaire but just maybe do this for a little while and see if you do get somebody really really generous. But at the same time do not rely on others for money you should be doing the other tips yourself but this is just a fun way to see if some really nice rich people want to give you some money. This next tip is using building hacks to save money and trust me it does save a lot of money. So let's say you wanted to make your dining room table and you want to colour this chair a whole bunch of colours, you want to change the material on it. As you can see just by changing the material and colour I've spent $75 here. Now if you were to do that for every chair, so six chairs, that would cost you $450. However, if we use the clone tool and we simply clone the chair, it does not cost any extra. So as you can see that just cost me $420. If we were to go and buy the chair again without anything it's still $420 but we would be paying an extra $75 on top of that making it almost $500 per chair. Now you might think that's not saving too much money but trust me if you do this all throughout your house with everything then it's going to be saving a lot of money and my best example which I used in the other video is windows. Windows are $140. Let's say you want to colour these again as you can see that is $30 per window and look as you can see by cloning this we're only spending $140 if you have a house with loads of windows on going over and recoloring them all $30 each time that is gonna add up to literally thousands which you could just be saving okay so for this next tip if you're gonna want to do it you're actually gonna have to do it quite soon or you're gonna have to wait till next year but this tip is the elf hunt so the elf hunt, as you can see behind me, I've got the trophies for 2020, 2021 and 2022. Now I'm sure you all know what the elf hunt is. You basically go around the map feeding elves different foods and drinks and you get money in return. So if you do the elf on time, you get $2,500 per elf. This year there were 16 elves. 
Now for the last elf, you actually get blocks back, so we're not going to include that. But if we do 2,500 times 15, then we get $37,500. You are literally getting that for doing a fun treasure hunt. And if we times 37,500 by the last two years, then we get $75,000 in total, which is a really good amount of money for just doing something fun. Now, sticking on the topic of trophies, I know some people love their trophies and might not want to do this, but remember you can always buy them back. If you are really in need of money, and let's say you have premium and you've maxed out your cooking skill, you can easily just go and delete your trophy for $9,000 and delete your cooking trophy for over $4,000. Right there, you've just basically made $15,000. So if you're really in need of money to say finish your house or you just have a bunch of trophies that you're never going to put anywhere, go and delete them all and you will make a lot. Now this next one is only probably going to work for a few people but I thought I'd add it in anyway as sort of a little reminder. If you have an alternative account on Bloxburg which you might use for role playing or something but you don't use for money or anything like that. Go on it and I bet that you will probably have some money on there that you don't know about. Maybe some money that you might have worked for on there a while ago and you can be like, oh my gosh, and you can go and donate that to your main account. Also on your alternative account, you will probably have a starter house, so you can delete that for about $7,000. Of course, Bloxburg costs money, so you can't really do this in a cheaty way and I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying if you just happen to have an alternative account with like an old house on it, and some money definitely go on there and delete the house if you don't want it and donate the money to your main account now some of you might have seen my video about the snowmen where we made some sort of shocking discoveries making snowmen is actually quite a good way of getting money if you're a low level at work and even if you're not a low level and you just feel like having a little bit of fun and switching up the working game for yourself go and make some snowmen you don't have to spend hours but just do it for a little bit because this is not working running around your plot with some snow and decorating some snowmen is definitely not work it's more fun and as you can see that costs me $50 to make and if we delete it then we make around $250 and it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for each snowman now my last tip is to make a business. Now this can either be really effective or really not effective, it depends how you do it. If you're doing it for fun to make money, then definitely go and make a million dollar hotel. But if you're doing this for an actual business, then do this instead. Make a small cafe, try not to spend more than $10,000 on it. You can still make it so aesthetic and cute inside for only a $10,000 budget. Then make some food and stuff, that's probably going to cost you about $500 to make a good amount of food. And try and get customers and charge them a lot of money. People are actually quite willing to pay around $1,000 at a cafe. I know I most certainly am. So let's say you play for about an hour on different servers, you get about 20 different customers and they each pay you $500. 500 times 20 is 10,000. You have already made back your money for the cafe. Now, of course, it might be a slower day. You might not get 20 customers in an hour, but try going into a neighborhood or something where you know there's gonna be a lot of people. And at the same time, some rich people do come in and literally give you thousands. I'm not joking. When I made a cafe ages ago, some guy came in, literally ordered a muffin or something and gave us $15,000. And then you've made all your money back and more from just one customer. So making a hotel and big businesses is not really that effective because you have to spend so much money on the actual build. But making a small cafe is actually a really good investment, especially if you use it a lot over time. You can genuinely make that your job. So that way you're basically being paid to just role play on Bloxburg. Okay, you guys, so that was all of my tips for this video. Hopefully some of these tips were new to you and can help you when making money without working. I really hope you all liked the video and I'll see you all in the next one.